Well, well, well. What do we have here? Well, as you can see, the answer is very simple. We have two Fujifilm batteries. Bear with me if you want to know more about this video, because one of the battery is genuine and one is a fake one. And it's a very good fake. I mean, in terms of copy. So, before we start, I want to show you the boxes. These are the boxes. In my left hand, I have the original box. I'm sorry for the sticker, it won't come off. And uh, on the right hand, I have the fake box. At first glance, they seem the same, but the fake one is more shiny, and the original is more uh, matte finish. Some of the boxes, the fake boxes, they have written or draw on the box only three connection pins. So this one almost can trick you because it has four pins, like the original. And also, as you can see at the first glance, the boxes look almost the same. But there are some main differences, like I told you, the shiny of the fake. And if we put them side by side on the original, you can see that we have the lithium ion and some uh, Japanese writing and also a code and these are divided by two white rectangles each one containing the specific text but the fake one has only one white rectangle blank on the bottom we can see that the pattern of the closing of the package is different on the other side they look the same and also the interior of the box on the fake one we have only blank cardboard and on the original it's a white finish and when you buy an original battery you'll find this nice silicone case for the battery and also the instruction manual which nobody reads and also you will find the instruction manual on the fake box and also this plastic bag so Let's see the main differences between the batteries. If we put them side by side, there will be no much of a difference. The first sign is that the fake battery, which is here, has a very, very shiny finish on the contact pins. And the original, it's more matte finish. This is the first sign. If we put them side by side, the original has some uh, molding marks, you can see them here. Four marks on this side, four marks on the other side. So this is the original that the fake battery does not have. On the other hand, if we compare them, you see this notch on the original, it's shiny. It's, it looks like to be made from other material than the case, but on the fake one, it's the same. There's no, no shine or nothing. Also, I read an article on the internet that uh, on some batteries, the writing on the battery might be misspelled or uh, different fonts, but it's not the case in this. There are no misspelling, the fonts are the same. But the difference on the fake battery, where is the sticker? We have here a clearance on the sticker. And if we look on the original one, we don't have any clearance. The writing is right on the edge of the sticker. So this is another difference. And uh, also I have another fake battery which I bought because the price was too good for uh, both batteries and they have the same serial number as you can see which is another error usually you will find these batteries at around maybe 15 to 20 euro so there are you think a bargain but they're not because the original can take you to 300 frames maybe 350 frames and these batteries together won't get you this number of frames 
only maybe 100, maybe, maybe 150 frames. Well, if you wonder if I recommend these batteries, no, I don't, because I don't know if they can damage your camera, I don't know. But certainly they, they don't have the power to, to deliver the, the most number of frames that an original battery, so I won't risk use them in my camera. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoy it, I hope you learn something, if you find this video useful, give it a like, let me know in comments what I did wrong, so I can improve. Thank you for your watching, have a good one.